So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology S21 Plus versus iPhone 12 Pro speed test. Let's begin with boot up three, two, one, and see which one can get there first. Now the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus does feature Snapdragon 888 coupled with eight gigs of RAM. That's down four from the 12 gig of last year iPhone 12 Pro is going with six gigs of RAM. That's quite a bit up over last year at four gigs of RAM. And you can see this phone does have Apple A14 Bionic chipset in here. So the iPhone 12 Pro boots up slightly faster than the Galaxy S21 Plus, but look at that size difference you get for the same price. That's a lot more screen over there, just saying. Anyway, let's get on to the next test. Okay guys, so let's begin with the app test here. We'll go into Instagram. You could see Instagram loads there first for the iPhone. We'll head up out of there. We'll head into Twitter and we'll go over here to the profile page. And Samsung seems to be a bit quicker here in Twitter. We'll go into Amazon. And Amazon first there on the left, that one was pretty evident. We'll come home and we'll go into eBay and just look how smooth the gestures have got here on the Samsung. Samsung and Apple loaded that up similar, very similar here as well. But you will notice again, the 120 Hertz versus the 60 Hertz, looking forward to ProMotion on the next iPhone. You can see right here that we do have a win there for the Samsung, they're getting coffee first. You're not gonna beat them in getting coffee. Over there, it looks like Samsung loaded that first. What about categories? Samsung again, we'll go to goods. You can see that Snapdragon 88, 888 ain't playing around, but Apple said, shut up, Nick, because I just loaded that section faster. We'll go into ESPN, and you can see ESPN first here for the iPhone, we'll hit scores, and there you go. Again, iPhone a little bit faster, so certain apps will be more optimized and will give iPhone the win, definitely. You can see right here, Crossy Road does lo load a little bit quicker than that Samsung device. We'll go into B&H Photo, and you can see Samsung says, I'm gonna get my camera shopping on first. We'll go over here, we'll go into digital cameras. Once in the applications, both perform admirably well. Even though you have two gigs less RAM, it still performs very well here on the iPhone. You can see Best Buy loads at a very similar time. We'll go into Google News, and we'll go ahead and sit, hit no thanks. We'll go to headlines. How about technology here? and look at the speed differences here. Looks like iPhone said it's my turn, and iPhone will take this one down, so sometimes you'll get a little bit of a load, really is depending on your network. And then we'll go over here to App Store, Play Store, let's see which one could load their respective platform up first. Look like Apple had that maybe by a little. We'll go to games here, and that's very similar. We'll head up out of here. We'll go into Mortal Kombat. So this is where Apple usually takes the win, is in the games, and I think it's because the games might be developed a little bit better a little bit better optimized for the platform versus like a million different Androids the developers trying to develop for. So you can see that we do have Apple definitely in the lead here on Mortal Kombat and you're ready to play first here, but both of these have really good GPU. So you're gonna have really good experience on both and you have to decide do you want the Apple gaming experience or do you want the 120 Hertz Samsung gaming experience? So very good on both, it's not gonna be an issue. Another thing Samsung fixed is it's not really delayed at all when you come up out of that game anymore. There's no stutter. We'll go into PUBG Mobile and see which one can load this up first. This is a game that definitely takes a little bit longer than some other applications to open. Wow, Samsung says, maybe it's my time to shine, but hold your horses because the you know iPhone sometimes comes back and takes the win. So you can see, boom, there it goes. So it's loading this up, this little ad, but Definitely the iPhone was loading this game up first. We'll wait till it gets done with this. We'll skip this and we'll go straight into the match. See which one could do this first to the match. Three, two, one. Now somebody says when you're in some private rooms in some of these games, you know, you're doing certain things. Sometimes the iPhone can perform a little bit better. So really depends how much are you gaming. You might have a better experience uh, in terms of overall performance on the iPhone, but still very good on both. I wouldn't be disappointed playing either. We'll go into Temple Run and you can see Temple Run does load up first tier four. Slight, just a slight edge, very similar, but they will tear through these basic games, no problem. I, need, I don't even have to click those at the same time. They're gonna, they're gonna tear through these games. It's just nothing for these phones. Just basically nothing, these things are so powerful. So there you go. I think that the Samsung phone, very respectably fast. I think the iPhone might take the lead a little bit in certain games. It's gonna come down to which app is better optimized for which platform. They're both basically equal in performance. Okay guys, so we're gonna run back through these applications to see if we do get any reloads for either phone. We'll go into PUBG Mobile here. Both of them still in that match. I'm probably losing by now. We'll go into Mortal Kombat. And you can see definitely held that. We'll go into Play Store, App Store, very good. Google News, very good on both. We'll go into Best Buy. 
very good bnh oh a little bit of a slowdown there for the iphone but it did have it let's go into crossy road so i'm not going to call it a reload you can see right here the thing is though is even when you're refreshing these applications they're so fast on the initial launch that even if it has to refresh there it goes samsung refresh there it's still going to be so quick you might not even notice it so definitely looks like a refresh there for a couple more refreshes happening here on the samsung device but not not a big deal it's very very minor here definitely good so definitely even with the eight gigs of ram i don't think it's going to be a big issue at all for the samsung device going down because this one went down from last year and i think the iphone 12 pro is actually improving on the four gigs of ram of the 11 pro all right so our final geekbench scores are in and you could see the iphone with what did you guess it was gonna lose here it always wins in the benchmarks and i've seen higher scores on both of these actually uh, but we were just running a bunch of stuff that could have lowered the score but you know these are both very fast in the actual real world this stuff won't matter but this is what they scored in this particular run okay guys so technically i think the iphone 12 pro is the faster cpu with a faster device it does benchmark better but you do have to keep in mind that samsung phone with the you know 120 hertz display this goes for the entire s21 lineup it's something that's actually noticeable versus the 60 hertz display if you look at this and then you bring it side by side with this you definitely will see some this is something the consumer will actually see so i'm not trying to give it the wind or just say it's the better device overall what i'm just trying to say is that i'm ready to see promotion on the iphone so let me know your thoughts about which one you think is the winner here for a thousand bucks you're getting a great phone either way you're getting a much bigger phone here but let me know which one you would pick between these two thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already nick here be sure to be well and peace